Hi there, and uh, welcome to this Studio Jakarta EE. I'm uh, sorry about this green background here, but uh, I'll get some slides up so we have some nicer colors. And um, I really hope that we have some people in here I can invite into the screen in a while. And uh, let me just go and share my screen. So there we go. And uh, again, welcome to this session called Studio Jakarta EE live at J4K. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with the Studio Jakarta EE. I'll put out a poll here, create a poll. So, well, so to explain a little, Studio Jakarta E is a, a YouTube channel that I'm uh, using for uh, for uh, light content regarding Jakarta E. And uh, uh, this session here at J4K, the uh, thought behind the Studio Jakarta E is to uh, invite people that are in the audience here and uh, have a chat and we can talk a little bit about Jakarta EE, uh, the conference in general, whether we like the bird or, or not. Um, any topic is uh, good really. So, and I, I think that I'll say that if you're interested in uh, coming on the screen with me here and, and talk about some topic, then just uh, put a note in the chat and I'll invite you in. Otherwise, I'll just keep rambling on a little bit and, uh, and see uh, what I can uh, get going here. So there are not that many in the audience live yet. So let's get started with... Uh, some top topics and uh, let's for example remind everybody that on December 8th we're having the Jakarta One live stream and information about this conference it's a live conference uh, it's the second year we're uh, having it uh, last year it was on the same date as Jakarta EE8 was released this year it will be a couple of weeks after Jakarta E9. So to, to, in order to to let the people that are involved with the release get a couple of weeks to prepare their talks and their sessions for this conference. So if you're interested in, and I think you should be interested, uh, go into jakarta1.org and uh, sign up for this conference. And uh, I'm, I'm guaranteeing you it will be a lot of great content and a lot of things evolving around the Jakarta E9 release. Another thing we're doing right now is the Jakarta E virtual tour. Since we're not able to travel nowadays, we, um, and, and we've been talking about doing a tour to all the Java user groups around the world or not everybody oh no yeah we potentially all the java e, java user groups but uh, at least anyone who wants to uh, host us there uh, but this year since we're not traveling we're doing it virtually and if you're interested in having your jug added to this list it it doesn't really need to be a jug either or a java user group it, it can be if you're hosting some sort of meetup or uh, you have a conference that you are uh, you you want to fill with a session there just reach out to us and uh, we will 
see if we can figure out a date and accommodate you there. Uh, as you see, we've already started this tour with uh, a talk in uh, in uh, the Delhi Jug in September, and uh, in in a couple of weeks we're going to virtually, of course, to the uh, Johannesburg Jug, the Josie Jug, and uh, talk to them there. Then uh, we're going to uh, Sweden, and we're actually doing. Uh, uh, gathering all the Java user groups in Sweden to to have a, a common event. So so all, all the Java user groups in Sweden are are called Java Forum in in some some uh, way, and and uh, we've invited all of them in. So we are having a a Swedish edition of the uh, virtual tour, and then we're going to Serbia for the Nice Jug. Uh, then we're going back, uh, over the pond to U.S. and Philadelphia for the Philly Jug, and that are that's all the stops we have this year. And we've, uh, we we do have room for more. So if you have any, if you want to host us on on your jug in November or beginning of December, please reach out and we will add you to this list. And as you see, we continue this jug in 2021, and we've already started. Uh, adding some stops on the tour. And the first one will be Jug Darmstadt in Germany in January. So, and all of these are virtual events that will be recorded, that will be broadcasted. So whether you're from uh, uh, Sweden or Serbia or some other country, you can join any meetup that are uh, there. It really doesn't matter. Uh, matter where it is it's uh but we can do some some kind of regional twist wherever we are so and and every bit everything here is in the uh, uh jacari community calendar so it's publicly available and open for everybody to join so let's uh see uh, Again, anyone uh, on the uh, listening here, uh, please just uh, ping me on the chat if you want to uh, come on screen and have a chat with some topic regarding this or the conference or whatever. It's it's pretty informal, and um, yeah. So so please just uh, throw a message in in the chat, and I'll I'll bring you on. So. Another thing we have been doing, and this is also sort of Java user group related, and that is the adopt a spec program. And we are uh, reaching out to communities and Java user groups out there and, and let them be a little bit more involved in working with these specifications. And let's go and uh, look at this link so you can see how this program uh, looks. I'll beef up the font a little. Yeah. So the the adopt the spec program. It said it's for jugs, and uh, that's because that's the uh, kind of uh, groups we're used to work with. Uh, another informal group of people wants to do something for a specification are also welcome here. And. Uh, it's basically just to, uh, if you want to get signed up here, it's more or less just actually send a pull request to the web page and get listed. So you have to you have to pick a spec that you you are particularly interested in. And let's go in and look at how 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 to look at a, a spec page. So let's go to the uh, front page, and in the middle here you see the specifications button. And if I go in here, you can see there are lots of specifications. And if you want to have your jug listed on one of these, I'll, I'll just pick one where I know there are some jugs. So here you can see the uh, the Swedish Java forum in Malmo has adopted. That's actually my jug, so it wasn't completely random that I chose this spec. But anyway, this is uh, how it would look like if your jug is listed on a spec page. I can list some so I can look at some other specs, and I'll pick another one completely random. And Jakarta MVC, and of course, it's not completely random because this is 
uh, a specification I'm pretty much involved in. But here you can see you have uh, SuJava, the Turkish JVOS user group, and the Turkey Chug are adopting this spec. There are other specs that are pretty popular as well. Let's, I think JSON processing has some. Yeah, you can see here, you actually have five Java user groups adopting this specification from, from Peru, from India, from Brazil, and from Turkey. So, so if you want to have your Java user group logo on some of these specs, just reach out to us or send a pull request. But like like the, I think BIM relation also, yeah, they have some. So you see some of the specs are are popular. So if you want to be unique, you should pick one that are uh, don't have one yet. Like the Jakarta Mail, for example. Here, you can be the single JavaS group supporting this spec. So, so you can have your logo on the page, and that's pretty cool. So let's go back to if if you don't have have a link available, you can click on resources here, adopt the spec, you get in here, you get some information about what you can do and 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 that kind of thing, and and um, well, why should you do this with the jug? Well, if if you put your send a pull request and take the work to sign up and say, hey, I'm interested in this spec, and, and you do this work, you get the jug, li jug listed on the spec page, I'm pretty sure if you then email, the, the second thing you should do is, of course, join the mailing list for the specification. And I'm pretty sure any specification project team would be happy if a user group emailed them on their list and said, hey, I've joined the Adopt the Spec program, and I want to want to help with your spec. I'm pretty sure then they will be super happy with it, and you will be welcome with open arms if you ask for a speaker to your jug, for example. So, so if if you have one uh, one particular spec you are interested in, let's let's go back and and look at some of them. For example, you're doing REST interfaces, or right? everybody is doing REST today. So, so let, let's go and look at, at the Jakarta RESTful web services. And you can see, even this spec, which is probably one of the most useful, most used specifications out there, they don't have any adopters. So, so if you want to have your, your user group logo here, go and adopt this spec, send a pull request get your logo there and then reach out to the team and say hey can you talk about Jakarta REST 3.0 in our jug what's coming in E9 what are what are your plans for 10 and and, and what are you doing here so so if you want to get these people's attention and 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 have these to, uh, to come and talk to you or in your jug this is one way of doing it and you get a, a, a free pool of speakers because everybody that are participating on, on this specification, and we can look at, at, uh, at the people here. You can always click on the, the project link and you get uh, the, the project pages within the, the Eclipse Foundation. And, and here you can, you can see the planned releases. So, so you see that they are actually plan, planning a three to one pretty, pretty quickly after uh, Jakarta 9. So you, you can just Ask them, hey, come come and talk on my user group. And here you can see the 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 uh, most uh, contributors the last uh, couple of months. So all of these, well, invite them in to speak here in your jug. Somebody will probably be happy to do it. And 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 you can see here who who's involved in the specification. And uh, these are your potential uh, Java user group speakers. So I'd, I'd say jo join uh, adopt the spec and, and there's no limit how many specs you can you can adopt either. So just go at it. So if there are any questions about that up the spec, then please feel free to reach out. Or if you want to get online with me, I'll repeat it again and again. 
This is super informal session. I'm just sitting here rambling off. It's pretty new to me this because I'm I, I, I've started this Studio Jakarta E on YouTube. I'll, I'll actually, I'll, I'll go into Studio Jakarta E and show you what it is. So it's on YouTube and it's called Studio Jakarta E. So let's go into my, my channel here. So you can see Studio Jakarta E has a lot of videos. I'm, I'm doing these community chats. So, so I have a a, a, um, a community chat with influ influential people in the community. So if you are doing some stuff in the Jakarta e community and, and want to be promoted here, just reach out and we will do, do a recording with you. As you can see here, uh, last week I had, had a chat with Edwin and I posted this chat yesterday or yeah, I think it was yesterday and, and you see we already have 19 views. It's it's not super super uh, YouTube star quality on this, but still, it is a very informal thing. Whenever you have elections, I do some interviews with people on elections. I do some technical tips. Where whereas I, uh, if you're doing some work on an open source project, you probably come around the sign off your commits on Git, right? So so if you have these uh, issues. Here's, here's a very quick tip on how you sign off your commit or how you configure your ID to sign it off uh, for you. And, and also how you can verify your licenses in, in the uh, dependencies you have in your project. So, so and, and also I, I, I do upload things here uh, once in a while, you know, how, how to make a milestone release party cookie, for example. So that's Studio Jakarta EE usually short videos and uh, these um, uh, this concept was something I wanted to kind of bring into uh, this hour so we're doing a kind of a studio hosted session where my plan was to invite people from the audience but I don't want to pull anyone in if you're not ready for going on stage so please do say hello in the chat uh tell me here if you want to be on screen and talk about stuff so just uh send me a, a note there and i'll bring you on i don't want to pull anyone in that doesn't want to be here so uh, unless I get someone in, I'll just keep rambling. And if it gets too boring, you know how to stop me. It's to go and say you want to go in and talk. So let's talk about some other stuff. I prepared a couple of slides. But let's wait a little bit with the release cadence. Let's talk namespace. And as you probably know, the... Uh, one of the, the major impacts of Jakarta E9 is the change from the Java X to the Jakarta namespace. And this is, it may sound simple, and it's more or less, as an application developer, a, a string replace or a IDE supported replace in your code. But if you think about it, how many frameworks, tools, and applications out there that are dependent on the Java X namespace, you, you kind of get a little scared and, and 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 you realize how big this impact is going to hit our industry. So so you, you better get ready to it. And and I'll, I'll I said it's super simple for an application developer, and I, I'll actually show you. So I'll, I'll go into an IDE here. And what I'll do is to uh, open this simple application called uh, Restduke. You see here, it's a Jakarta E8 application. And uh, the the uh, POM file, that's all, all there is to it. This is the, this is a good thing about uh, Jakarta E, is that there are literally no configuration needed. 
So let's look at the the application, and you can see my application config here is uh, I'm I'm using an empty path there for the application. It's not a super good practice, but for demos, it's, it's okay. Then I have the the actual hello world endpoint, which has the slash hello path. It's a it's a rescope CDI bean, and I'm saying here hello to Jakarta E8. Right. Don't need all these exclamation marks. And that's the message, and I say, I return here the um, a a a a, 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 a um, Duxess object, and you can see Duxess is just a holder for a message. It has a message and an email parameter, and um, but what it says there, it is just. Uh, Hail, uh, it says success. Hello to Jakarta E8. So, so if I do build this one, well, I'll use the, um, the uh, build application here. And then I'll run it on Glassfish Fighter 1, which is a a compatible implementation of Jakarta E8. There are lots of compatible implementations of Jakarta E8, and I'll actually go and show you some of them. So you can always go here to Jakarta.e, and on Jakarta E, you can find compatible products. And under compatible products, you can you can listen by web profile or full profile, and you can see here there are lots of them. So right now I'm using Glassfish Fighter One. Let's uh, redeploy this application to Glassfish and uh, see how it goes. So it says it's up and running. So let's go. I think it's on uh, local host. And I think it's actually the ADT. That should be correct, I guess. So, hello. And it says, it says hello to Jigari 8 which is the same message that I have here. And it's actually a double exclamation mark. So let's pick this one and, and uh, redeploy it. We don't need double explanation marks. We can do that for E9. Great, it's the only one. So it should be saying that this says load to E8. Let's make it big. You can see there. So let's uh, take the namespace switch for the, this application. The first thing I'm going to do then is to open the POM and I'll change the dependency here from 8 to nine zero. And you might think that you should stop with nine zero zero, but it's not released yet. And I get the suggestion for RC2 here, but I yesterday a RC3 was actually uh, launched. So let's um, uh, use this and update our dependencies. There you go. So the next thing, it's taking its time, and it should be ready. And you see, it got 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 uh, wider. And now you'll see that the applications aren't compiling anymore, and that's because the Java X doesn't exist. Let's get rid of all of this. Let the uh, the um, IDE fix it for us. So you see, it it, it adds Jakarta wherever it can, and we just go up there. And the producers also has two different. Just make sure 
which isn't the right one. You don't want a CDI producer, you want a producer or application JSON. And what you also notice there is that I have this Java object, it's just a POJO, and by saying it, it's it's returning application JSON, it, it serializes it automatically. That's kind of the cool thing about Jakarta EE as well. You don't need to actually do the, the serialization yourself. So here, and there are different applications there as well. So make sure you're using the Jakarta EE as application. But there we go. Let's just to be sure rebuild this one. And go ahead. And I'll just repeat again that if you want to get on screen with me here and talk about this code or some other code or something else, just ping me in the chat and I'll invite you in. And uh, let's go here and deploy this application. And now you see I'm using the milestone release of Glasswish 6. Because since I've now sw uh, switched the namespace, it um, won't be uh, running on Glasswish 5 anymore, because that's a Java X namespace. So we're going to. Uh, at how it looks like. And now it's not this port anymore. Let's go to 8081, and it's still the rest of it. And you say, it's saying, hello to Jakari 8. And that's not correct, because this isn't Jakari 8 anymore. Let's change this. Should have told me. It's Jakari 9, of course. And here we can use a couple of explanation marks. A couple of more. There you go. I'll redeploy this one. And while it's redeploying, I'll just repeat my message. If you want to get online, if you want to show your face, if you want to be famous, ping me in the chat and I'll have ID on screen. Let's see here. And it says nine with a lot of explanation marks. So so you, you see here how easy it was for me to switch. What, the only thing I did was to update the POM to version nine. And then I, I changed the import statements. And I'm good to go. I don't want to do your next Of course, there's, there's a lot of work underneath there that has gone into the implementations. But for me as an application developer, it's pretty much a, a, a job any machine can do. You just have to make sure you're using the right imports. So that was a, a very quick and uh, simple demo on the namespace. Let's also talk a little bit about the release cadence. And I've, I've kind of done a leading, leading thing here about putting a train there, because you know release cadence, release trains, it's kind of popular term terminology these days. And we, 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 we kind of have de delivered Jakarta E8 and 9 with approximately one year between the releases. If you look at the history of, of Java E, we, we, we see that the, the, there has been a, a little varying release cadence, Some, sometimes one year, sometimes two, something, uh, sometimes two and a half and three years, depending on, on uh, the features, because that was a feature-based release cadence. So you, you said that we want this kind of features, these features in, and uh, let's deliver it when it's ready. Whereas the, the release train or, or time-based release cadence is more that we say that we want to have something released at this time every year. And then whatever is ready, let's release it. And that is actually possible now, because if you think think about it, and, and if you look at the, um, the, for example, the Jakarta RESTful here, the, the, they're doing a release in 
uh, it's, it is, it's, uh, probably should be updated a little, but they're doing a 3.0 release for Jakarta 9. Right? And and then they, they're doing a 3.1 in December. And they could do a 3.2 in January and a 3.3 in February if they wanted to go on a monthly release cadence, for example. And, and or they can do once a quarter. And, and uh, that's the important thing that every one of these individual specifications can be 100% released whenever they are ready. And, and th then we can have the, the platform release to kind of pick up when, a, when we have a date that we need to know some certain things, some statuses from the individual specs. We, we can gather together and see which specs are ready and then put it together, bundle it, make sure it's, it's a cohesive and nice platform and release it. So it's, um, it's more of a, a uh, whatever's ready, make the release. And if you don't make it, it's only a year to next time. So, so I, in, in my opinion, that would be a, pretty decent way of releasing Jakarta EE. Uh, but there are opinions about it. And if you want to get involved, you should go and join the mailing list and discuss this, because this is stuff we are discussing at the moment. So I'll, I'll repeat my message here again. If there are anyone listening that wants to be on the screen, make a name, be famous, chat a little bit of something about what we're, about your, what you're doing in the day, or anything of the stuff I've been talking about here today, or anything that I haven't been talking about, then ping me in the chat, and I'll invite you on screen, and uh, we can have a chat. Very informal. And... Um, I don't want to pull anybody in that aren't interested. So, One specification that is kind of close to my heart is the MVC specification. And we've been working on this uh, ever since it, it came out from, from uh, Oracle. Because it, it was an Oracle uh, MVC 1.0, a JSR 371 that we did under the JCP. And it was uh, uh, just before uh, Java 8. It was uh, pulled from the platform. And uh, we were kind of thinking that we were pretty much done. So we wanted to, to finalize this. So we did so. And we, we um, uh, released earlier this year uh, MVC 1.0 through the JCP. And uh, then we moved everything into the Eclipse Foundation and started Jakarta MVC. And we are uh, currently in the process of releasing Jakarta MVC 1.1. I'm not going to the project and see what we're doing there. And Jakarta MVC 101 will be released next week on October 21st. That's when the the uh, ballot in the specification committee is complete. Uh, and Jakarta 101 will be a, a uh, it's, it's the first release under, Jaka under uh, Jakarta EE working group. Uh, we're using the Jakarta EE specification process. And we've done the same thing as was done for Jakarta EE 8, and that is to release it without any changes, only under the, uh, the the new Maven coordinates, and uh, uh, this is this will be the the last release under the Java X namespace. We are allowed to release it the way we're doing because we're not doing any changes. It's exactly the same as MVC one as zero, but we want to run it through the specification process to get the the correct license and everything. Then the next thing we're going to do, and that you can see we're planning on on December, actually. We'll see if we can make it. But what we're doing is 
to do the name space switch. So we're going to, to, to switch from uh, Java X MVC to Jakarta MVC. And we're not planning on doing anything else because we want a transition to be easier. And uh, we want to do this uh, as soon as possible. And then from MVC 2.x and further, we'll uh, start uh, adding the feature that we have in the pipeline. And, uh, and then we will start working towards getting included in the uh, web profile. So, so, so that's our plan for MVC. And if you want to try it out, you can. It is available in the Jakarta OSS, in the Jakarta Stage Repository. So we um, we have here in the staging group we have staged the um, Jakarta MVC API here is the one of one snapshot. Let's see the the jar here. So so, so we have staged it in the snapshot repository. So you can you can, uh, you can also check the listing here. So, so this is the URL you'll, you'll configure your Maven configuration with to use the staging repository. Then you can use this one. But after October twenty one, we will uh, you will find it in, in Maven Central. If you want to check out the stuff we're working on now, we actually released a milestone one of the Jakarta MVC API. And this is on the Jakarta namespace. We can, since all of this is open source, everything is under the Eclipse E for J GitHub repository. There, there are lots of repositories. So if you want to find one in particular, you can, for example, let me see here. You can see that we've uh, pretty recently done the, the um, milestone one release. And here you can see we're on the Jakarta namespace. So here's what you go, where you go to find information about that. And if you're wondering, it, it, like some of these repositories have some weird names. So what you can do, for example, if you're if you're in the, the Jakarta REST world of services and you want to figure out where is the code, well, under developer resources, you can see here, they have a source repository on GitHub. You can go and browse the repository directly. So every project here has a, you can see it's it's in the E4J group and you have the JXRS, which is the Jakarta REST. And let's let's go and, uh, and and look at it as well. And you can see, since this is the latest version, they've also migrated to the Jakarta namespace. So you can here see the application path annotation here is on the Jakarta namespace. So you can follow it, and you can do pull requests. It's open source. You can contribute as much as you want. So I'm kind of wondering what next now. So I think I'll actually, if there are nobody who wants to go on screen and chat with me, which is kind of what the major thing of this was, I'll say that uh, those who were here, thank you very much for listening. Those who listens afterwards on the recording, uh, I, I hope you enjoy it. Otherwise, I feel sorry for you. But um, I feel free to fast forward when I'm, I'm rambling about stuff you don't want to hear. I hope the demos were useful. 
and I'm happy to be here at the E4J. I want to remind you about tomorrow, I'm doing a talk on micro profile. So, so if you're interested in a very demo packed session on creating end to end microservices with micro profile, then search up my name in the Buhuva app or the J4K schedule and um, go, go in and uh, listen to that talk. I'll be, since it's a recorded talk, I'll be listening to it myself and I'll be in the chat room and, and ask, answer questions. And um, I, I hope you enjoy that one as well. And um, if there are no questions or no comments or no wishes to get online in the chat, I'll, I think I'll just close this session and say thank you very much for listening. And uh, I hope to see you more in the J4K conference. And I hope you're enjoying the show. And please do visit the Eclipse Foundation booth. And uh, I know uh, somewhere there, it, it's a button where you can click in and, and get some stickers sent to you. So if you want to have Jakarta stickers, go to the Eclipse Foundation booth and, uh, and, and just um, ask for stickers. That's what you do at, at a regular conference. So it's, we're kind of, kind of simulating the uh, regular conference in the, uh, in the uh, virtual world. So thank you very much for listening and joining me in Studio Jakarta EE. I hope to see you on a later occasion. And I want to remind you again, do reach out if you want your jug to be on this list. Thank you very much. And uh, thank you for listening.